Hello folks, uh, welcome to this edition of the, the ABB PLC programming series uh, using Automation Builder. My name is Brighton and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new project in Automation Builder. Let's dive in. Alright, so that's the, the Automation Builder environment. So there are three ways really of um, creating a new project. So you could I the first one is you go to file and then new project. Second one is um, you use that you know menu icon there or just clicking control N. And you could also use you see here where it's written basic oper operations, there is new project there. So you could also use that new project, you know, to create your, your project there. There are two templates that, that come with automation builder. So you can use um, a template with uh, where you assign the CPU from the outset, or you can just create an empty project. So in this um, uh, video, we're going to use one with, you know, uh, a CPU, a C500 um, project. Then it asks for the name of a project, the name of your project. Um, say, for example, you want to create a project for a conveyor system or, or something. Uh, you could you could you could say um, maybe conveyor conf underscore sys maybe conveyor system and then it asks you where you want to um, save that click OK okay so it then opens the um, uh, this window here with um, let me just get this out of the way okay um, so then it gives you this window with you know a selection. A facility for the CPU that you want to use or the CPU that you have. So there's two groups really that 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 come default. Um, so there's a version two group of CPUs. So it's these ones, say 500, 500 Echo. So these C CPUs. Then there is a version three CPUs, which are these ones. So let's let's use um, the AC 500 Echo. Let's get the biggest CPU with the, the you know the largest memory. Um, then you add the PLC like that okay so let's wait for it it's building relationship tables there um, all right so that's it so this is the um, you know the programming environment and notice that you know it comes with the default structured text editor okay so it comes with the default program with structured text or in structured text okay so if you want to if you use that you could just change the name over here you know you could rename it and and then change and then put in your code there or if you do not want to do it in structured text you could just come to application there right click you add object so you you, you can add um, you know program or organ organization units a POU there um, so if you say add pro objects there uh, select program because this is a program that we're creating it's not a function block it's not a function function blocks and functions I will um, <clears throat> deal with those in later videos so it asks you what your you know this program you know this program block that you want it, it asks you what name you want uh, you know to give that maybe these are converse for um, I don't know maybe converting um, or I don't know what type of O it is. Um, so you, you could just say O converse O conf logic. Okay. So and 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 then the implementation languages in <clears throat> you know the programming language, whether it's ladder or structured text, SFC or CFC, you then select <clears throat> the language that you want there, excuse me. The language that you want. Say we want ladder there, you can then you can select ladder and so it then gives you the ladder editor and um, it comes with function blocks that you can use in ladder like timers it comes with ladder elements you know the coils and and, and and the contacts it comes with math operators and so this two bolts something is what you can then use you know in here you can add a new network like that just take this and pull it like that add a new network and there is um <clears throat> if you notice there is um also these um at your disposal as well these contacts and coils right at the top at your disposal for your um <clears throat> for your for your projects there so this is how you would um uh, create a new project in automation builder okay so this is how you create a new program a new project in uh, automation builder 
Um, so in the next um, video, I will be showing you how to navigate um, in the Automation Builder environment, where to find what. So if you like this video and would like to learn uh, more about PLC programming, uh, please um, click subscribe and uh, the bell icon and let's do this together. Uh, I would love to also know what you want to see uh, on this channel. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.